video, hopefully short video, because my camera is sort of ready to die, on the ISSA Sports Nutrition course. Um, I took this course because my son was in, was playing football for high school and basically eating the school lunches and I didn't like his diet and I didn't like what we were eating at home. So a big part of any kind of fitness journey is nutrition and nutrition is hard. Nutrition is not easy. Nutrition isn't something you can just pick up and do and understand and you know, it's it's just it's the foundation of everything with your body, including your health. So I took this and I took the sports nutrition instead of the fitness nutrition because they went over some of the supplements and stuff like that in here, which wasn't covered in the fitness fitness certification, fitness nutrition certification. So with that being said, um, the way I studied for this exam is, again, it's just like with the NASM one, you want to read the book. This, and now I'm going back where I took and passed this exam back in March of this year, it's now September, so I'm going a little bit on memory here, so I apologize if I mix a few things up here. This book is 360 pages. It's not a terrible read. It's it's pretty easy to follow. I wrote a lot of notes on the sides. There's some charts in here. Um, but reading the book is not the hard part. The book comes along with a, a workbook. And I should have read this before I started doing this because that workbook is part of your final exam. You actually have to send that in with your final exam. Um, I didn't know that as I was going through it, but I was doing the workbook as I went through the material because, just because, that's how I study. And <clears throat> so the only parts I didn't do were the writing assignments. And I have to laugh at myself now because I told my husband we were having trouble with our son in school. He he didn't like to do certain things in his classes, so he wouldn't do them. So he would get a zero. So we were, we were giving him a hard time about it. I said, I don't care if you like to do it or not. It's part of your assignment. You're supposed to do it. And there are writing assignments in this thing. And I was just like, I really don't want to do them. But what kind of example am I if I don't do what they want me to do? And in the end, it turns out I had to do it anyhow because it was part of the exam. So basically, you go through, they give you online, they give you an online access to the materials. There's, um, there's videos, there's quizzes, there's all kinds of other stuff to go with each one of the chapters. So go through everything and understand everything and go through that. The final exam is actually several parts. There was a true and false section. This was something you got unlocked after you went through all of the online quizzes and stuff like that. So you want to go through everything online. And then they give you, they unlock the final exam for you so you can print it out. The final exam has true or false. It had have multiple choice? I can't remember. Honestly can't remember. I know it had matching things where you had to match up the term to a definition. And they were hard. Because it's like they kind of give you partially something and you're going to have to figure out what it belongs to. And sometimes they were just, it was just, I had a hard time with that part. Let's just leave it at that. So, your workbook was one section, and then there was the final exam with the true-false and the, the matching up stuff. 
Then there was a writing assignment that you had to do. It had to be 1,000 to 1,500 words on a nutrition topic. And they gave you a list of topics to choose from. One of them was creatine. That's what I did mine on. So I did mine on creatine just because. And other ones you could do were uh, BCAAs and performance enhancement. Um, and some other, there was, I don't know, a handful of six or eight different topics you could pick from. Uh, it had to be an uh, article, like a newspaper article type thing. So I really had no idea what direction to go with this. I called them and asked them, and I said, can I make this more like a, in general layman's term, like what is creatine, what it does, how where it comes from, that kind of thing, and lead into, oh, that's the other thing. You had to pull up six case studies of creatine studies. Read them. You may not understand them, but let me tell you, they are technical. Read them and incorporate them into your article. So, yeah, that was, that was no fun. And then there were some other examples that you had to flesh out. One of them was, one of the things they talked about in here was the zigzag method of dieting. And you had to take a person, you, you had to create six people, six fictitious people, and go through, figure out their BMR and calories and deficits and this whole big huge thing for each one of those people and, and then you had to take four people oh somebody for the, those six people were for weight loss another six four people for weight gain and then four people you had to create for having them go through three different ways of carb loading one of them was going to be a duplicate of the first three I was like, you got to be kidding me. And that was that question. And then there was another question that I can't remember what it was. But there was a lot of writing. And then what you did is you mailed the whole thing in. I was done. I mailed it in like the day before. It had to be postmarked by, I think it was March 4th. March 3rd, I had it postmarked. It was in the mail. After I mailed it and sent it to the post office, I realized I forgot to put the articles in or the, the case studies in that I had to read. I'm like, oh, are you kidding me? So I had to send another package with those articles in because they needed them to see what you referenced. And then by Thursday, I still had not heard anything, so I ended up calling them and say, "Hey, what's going on? Did you get my, did you get all my pieces? Because I told them I had to send two to seven packages." Oh, okay, yeah, we have it. And then the next day, was it the next day? I think it was the next day. I think I heard on a Friday that I had passed it, and they actually give you a breakdown of how you did in each section, and. I ended up with a 93% overall on that exam. So, do I think this is a worthwhile certification? Yes, there is a lot of information in here. A lot of information. And a lot of good information. Stuff that if you are creating your diet for yourself or diet for somebody else or trying to help somebody through creating a meal plan, this is definitely a good foundation. It gives you what you need to know about, <clears throat> okay, about all the nutrients. Sorry, I'm going to go through here and look here. Um, like they go over carbohydrates in the athlete, proteins and amino acids, fats, water and oxygen, vitamins, minerals, um, they give you a little thing on supplements. Uh, they give you a section on anatomy of cells, 
metabolism and how the body functions with that. Uh, section on fine tuning your performance, like that's where the carb loading comes in, and they do a section on female athletes and things that you need to look for, um, specific just to female athletes. Effective fat loss and muscle gain, that's their whole zigzag method on how to pretty much reprogram your metabolism so when you do lose your weight, you don't gain it back. But that's pretty much, that's it in a nutshell for that class. Um, they don't have an online section or online test for this for this certification because you have to mail your um, your test in. Uh, I sent mine priority mail in a flat rate envelope. It cost me six dollars and change each time because I had to send things in twice. And I would strongly urge you to make sure you keep copies of things before you send them in. Actually, the book, the workbook, I didn't realize had to be sent in, and I had stuff written sideways on it, I had notes all over the place, and I'm like, I called them up and said, you know, I probably really should rewrite this, because I didn't know I was sending it in. Just you know, remember that you have to do that, and then, um, and you'll be good. So, if you have any questions, you can leave me a comment below. I will not tell you answers to your test questions. I a lot of the things that you need to answer, say for like some of the case studies that you have to do, figuring out people's calories and stuff like that, they do tell you in their online support support forums that they have. You just go in and start searching for things. It shows you like what they are expecting you to do. Um, I might be able to be able. I might be able to give you that information, um, but other than that, you know, you really got to do the work on your own. I'm sorry, but it's not really that bad. Okay, so if you have any questions, just leave me a comment below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, thanks.